when you wrote "Hey Man, Nice Shot," that's the quintessential all-time kick-ass jam to get fired up to. To you know, to get you know, that's I, I can't tell you. You know, that song's been with me ever since it came out in '95. And 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 where did you write that? With like the the genesis of "Hey Man, Nice Shot," the bass line, everything. I was with these couple of guys that I was trying to to work something out with. I had this friend. His uh, he he was kind of the computer guy. He had the computer, and then there was this other friend, Stuart Zuckman, who. Uh, was hanging out and he was the bass guy and i was i was by myself and i i was thinking about how much i love the rhythm of like chicka 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 you know and i started playing around with uh uh something i had heard al jorgensen do uh from the lard record you know he has this bass line that goes and i was like well that's really cool and so i just kind of moved my hand down the neck and worked out this big huge guitar riff and i was like wow and then you know at a certain point the other guys were like that's amazing what are you gonna do with that i was like this is my song back away and you know uh, actually Stuart actually took the riff and was like well i'm taking it and he he went off and did his version of it which was on god by stabbing westward which is the band he he quit for um uh for filter and uh and then i took the I took all of his bass out and replaced it with the bass that you know today and um it just it was just one of those things the lyrics were you know when I was 24 I didn't have a lot of life experience other than I'm in a lot of pain and I don't want to say that because Trent's already in pain and I don't want to be the guy that's in pain so I started to focus on like current events and one of the things that I had seen was this guy Arba Dwyer that had shot himself and so I I thought about the guts to do that you know just the 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 either the insanity or the clarity or whatever it was for him that was, was that the guy at the podium was, was that yeah arba dwyer held a press conference and shot himself in the head and it's very awkward i actually met one of his relatives oh wow and and i was like it's an anti-suicide song and of course if he if he holds a press conference it's going to affect people so i actually just um you know, I just I, I never really admitted to it until the song was already a huge hit, and uh, and then the record company started spilling the beans, kind of leaking it a little bit, and eventually it became like you know she the widow of of Arba Dwyer contacted the record company it was like this is terrible why are you letting these guys do this and I was like wait a minute there's nothing that says it was about Arba Dwyer it's just people talking about it originally people thought that it was about Kurt Cobain yeah. and that really bothered me because you know. You know, I, I I saw Dave Grohl and I was like, dude, you know. He goes, dude, I read the Rolling Stone article and I first off, he's like, I love the song, and I read the Rolling Stone article and I believe you that it was written earlier. It was. It was the lyrics were. I, we had already had a record contract and were signed because of uh, and I quit Nine Inch Nails because of Hey Man, Nice Shot was already finished and. You know, the record company, I was driving back from buying microphones to, like, uh, record the record. And sure enough, I heard that Kurt Cobain had been killed, and I was like, wow, that sucks. And then eventually we were worried. You know, a lot of people were were were, were put off. I mean, even Nine Inch Nails fans didn't really want to hear about, you know, anything upsetting because, you know, Kurt just killed himself. So, like, everybody was you know kind of worried about it and, you know and courtney loves her record came out and you know you know what i mean everybody was kind of worried about how it was going to be perceived but I, I you know there are djs that still say over and over in seattle that no it's about kurt cobain it's like it's abs do you want to see the copyrights i mean do you want to see what i sent off you know to to myself i registered a letter it's called the poor man's copyright back in the day we you take a tape and you take the lyrics and you mail it you, you you go down to the post office and register it and then you don't open the envelope and that's how you prove that you 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 wrote the song i'm like you want a copy of that we'll break that open in court but it's all good the uh the sun comes out tonight filters newest effort it's it's one of their best uh, surprise is the uh, single you'll be hearing all over the place especially on x103 yeah um, you guys have a great show tonight. We're really looking forward to it, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm a big fan. Uh, not a problem, and thank you so much for the interest, and it means a lot to us, and thank you. And this is going to be a great show tonight, so we're, we're going to rock.